All right, welcome back to another American Station webcast, Rick. Uh, before we start talking about this week's games, we've got to you know, look back at this past weekend. Game ball time. Who's your first game ball going to go to? I'm going to go with Reed Carlton, running back, St. Michael's. He just touched the ball twice last week but for 71 yards, 47 yards. Pretty economical. One was for a touchdown. They win big. He gets the game ball. Surprisingly, it was actually the 47 one that was the, the yeah, touchdown. Got stopped true. a little bit short of that really long run, but I'm sure his coaches will take that any day of the week. Uh, my first game ball is going to go out to Elgin. Uh, Terrell Simmons, the quarterback out there. Um, we, we heard a little bit about him last year, um, and he's just continuing to have a great season. 48 to 8 went over Lehman this past weekend. Five touchdowns, three of which were passing. You know, if Elgin's going to make a move in that seven, District 17 4 a right now they're probably on the outskirts looking in, but um, you know, they want to contend for, with Maynard, with Bastrop for um, one of those. You know, one of those last playoff spots. He needs to continue to have a good game, and you know what he's playing. There's no reason to believe that he can't you know, keep that up. He's got a good play. name too, yeah. Terrell. All right. Uh, uh, second game ball. I think you're going to be standing for it. I'm going to uh, Griffin Stucer. He's from McCallum, quarterback. 337 total yards last week in a big win over Aikens, and. Uh, He's not one of those guys that we talk about all the time, but he is the engine that makes uh, McCallum go this year. Yes, um, I'm going to go back to 17-4A for my final game ball. Uh, Bastrop defensive back, uh, uh, White Pearson. And you know, when, you when you think about Bastrop defensive players, you, know, you have Antoine Davis, you have Paul Whitmill, um, Anise Hendricks, another uh, good um, defensive back out there. But you know, Pearson, 28-27 win over, Bas or over Gonzalez. They want it because he stopped a uh, Gonzalez player on a two-point conversion with 35 seconds left. Can't get much more exciting than that, so we got to give him a shout. And maybe um, after a disappointing way to start their season against Vista Ridge, maybe they can take this win and um, you know momentum steam forward. And you know, like we said, Elgin, Maynard, they're all going to be fighting for those last playoff spots in 17-4A, and maybe Bashar can grab them. And they uh, they don't win the game if he doesn't make that play. So that's sure. that's clutch right there. Oh, and two to one and one. Very good, very good play for him. All right, those are our game balls. Uh, check with us next week. We'll be honoring some more players.